Hey Mick, could you turn on the lights? Oh sh Que es la que hay? Welcome back. My name is West and uh, this is going to be one of the last DIYs that I'm going to do for a while because uh, the movers are packing everything and all my tools and everything are leaving tomorrow. So, uh, today is RX, RSX time. And the other one is gonna be about HIDs. So this car, when I bought it, it came with HIDs already, and uh, everything was fine, was fine until last year. Uh, when it gets cold, it, it just stopped working, and, or it flickers. Um, and it was working, but then. The left side, I think, is dead, and I doubt that is the bulb. I think it's, are the ballast, and uh, the right side. When I turn on, it turn on, turn on, and then it goes out. So I have to put on off the switch, and then try it again a couple times. So I'm gonna fix that today. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I am getting, I think I have 113, 114 subscribers. Thank you all for your support. Uh, please share, like, uh, and support me that way so I can have more subscribers. Um, and yeah, that's that's what I'm gonna do today. It shouldn't be a hard one. Uh, I think the hard thing to do is removing the bumper because for the RSX, in order to get the headlights out, uh, you have to remove the bumper. So I'm gonna start doing that now and uh, see you guys later. Okay, I'm not gonna bore you guys uh, showing you how to remove the bumper because it should, should be pretty straightforward. Uh, but I want to talk to you about this, uh, the clips, bumper clips, I guess it's called. So these ones are from Amazon. You can find them pretty cheap, um, especially if you don't want to leave the bumper with holes like that. Uh, but they, you can use them once because when they're so weak uh, that when you try to pull them out, they, they break. So, but I have a, a box that I ordered so if he if he gets if he broke like that what you want to do is because it can be a pain in the ass you can't just break the top part and then push it down bam I just wanted to show you that. Okay, for headlights, it's a little bit more tricky. She has three 10 millimeter bolts. One should be here. Uh, the third one goes uh, where the fender is on the side, right there. And then the third one is underneath the headlight all the way down there yep over there so you need an extension and uh 10 millimeter if it's the long socket uh better that's what she said so once i remove that i'm gonna do the same here on the other side and then take the, the plugs out from the bulbs. All right. Okay, so I took out the left side uh, headlight and the bulb seems to be messed up. However, I wanted to show you guys uh, where the ballast was installed. 
Again, I bought the car with the HID kit already on it. And what they did was they used underneath the headlamp. That's where they style the ballast. You guys can see and get idea in case because there's literally no no room under here. If you have a better location, just let me know. Comment below. And then let's talk about the installation. So basically it comes this I don't like how it looks but they're just taking the power and the ground from the plug to the ballast and then from the ballast to the bolt and then these two cables are when I retrofit the headlight those uh these <clears throat> projectors have like a lid it will show only 50 percent and what i did i connect these two cables to the high beam so whenever i turn out the high beam then it will be full illumination from the um, projector that I'm gonna change today because I don't like it even though I align it and it creates a fancy line when you hit the head when you uh, turn on the lights in a wall uh, but it doesn't during night it's, it's hard to see so I'm just gonna connect these two wires to the actual uh, cable. So whenever is the low beams are turned on, then the lid will come up and it, it will be 100%. Um, these projectors are from Amazon, so they're cheap. I don't know if that's why. Um, it doesn't um, shine that much during night if the lid is 50% or the actual HID and the ballast are worn out. So I bought <clears throat> new ones because I thought that was the ballast because again, like I said, if it's too cold, when you turn on, it will the light will go out. So I just bought an, another kit from Amazon DE because I don't have time here and uh, from the States it takes forever to get here and I'm I'm leaving so I ordered from Amazon DE two days ago and I just got it I bought it 8000 K which is the not too much blue but not too much yellow um, and then these are the ballast and you can see one is for power and the other one goes to the bolt so this, and then this is the actual bolt so this this part goes there which I don't know man I don't know how I feel I don't like that how once I get back to the States, I'll try to get like a plug or something to make it look better. I don't like it like that. Um, and then this part goes with the ballast. It's pretty straightforward. It's not complicated. So. Hmm. This one doesn't supposed to sound like something is broken inside. So 
<laughs> we'll see. This one weren't that. These weren't the cheapest one either. It's worth like 60 euros. Comes with the brackets as well. But I'm just gonna try to use the same location for those and uh, hopefully that one's not broke. So we'll see. So basically it goes like that. Ballast and this is the harness. And then this go to the plug that I'm gonna show now. So I'm just, I'm not gonna remove anything yet because I wanted to test this one. This part sounds weird. Um, so I'm just gonna connect these ones here and then I'm gonna connect the um, negative, the ground, back to the battery. Remember, safety first, uh, this is electric shit, so Make sure you remove the ground uh, before you start working with that. I'm just gonna do that and then I'm gonna turn the lights to see if this one works. So, false alarm. Sounds weird, but it is working. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna remove all that, install the new ballast here and uh and finish the, the installation i'm not going to cover all that again i don't want you guys to bother and I, I don't want to extend the diy uh more than it's supposed to be because it's a simple stuff so i'm just gonna do it and then i'm gonna start shooting when i'm done okay so these ballasts are a lot smaller than the one that were there uh, so I, I utilized the bracket that came with it, attach it to the ballast on this side, and then put that screw there. You can see the difference of size. And these ones are digital HID, whatever. But they're all, and these ones are I can't believe it's not butter brand. What did you say? So we'll see how much time much time they last and uh good stuff. That's all for today's episode. I hope you guys like it. Remember, please subscribe and press the bell button so you receive notifications every time that I upload a video. Um, remember, if you have any questions, you can ask me uh, by email, tonywestdiy at gmail.com or you can send me a private message through Facebook or Instagram at tonywestdiy. If you guys want to see uh, the retrofit of the headlights, you can go to my Instagram and there's uh, pictures of the step-by-step -step of what I did in order to modify the headlights. I hope you guys enjoy it and uh, until the next one.